Hey guys, welcome back. Happy new moon in Aries. I hope you're all well. Today's reading is going to be for divine soulmate connections, including twin flame connections as well, um, where the masculine is involved in a karmic relationship or it could be a situation, okay? I do the reading as if it is a relationship, but you can take the messages as they make sense for you. And also, it could be that the feminine is the one involved in a karmic relationship or situation. So again, just take the messages as they make sense for you, all right? Um, it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. And you might actually find that aspects of the masculine and the feminine might resonate for you, okay? So do keep that in mind as well. If you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. All right, and yeah, last week I did say that I might need to extend the turnaround time because um, there was a chance I was gonna go on a trip. That's not happening, so everything is on schedule in case some of you were wondering. All right, so with all of that said, let's get into it. So I'm gonna start by looking at the masculine's energy. Just overall, what's going on with them, with oracle cards and then we'll get into the tarot to see more specifically their energy towards their karmic partner as well as their feminine. All right. So let's see what is going on. All right, first card out we have action. All right, so something is definitely going on. And being that it is airy season, this does make sense. All right, let's see, what else? Oh my gosh, look, look at that, we got action a second time. First two cards out, all right, that's a lot of damn action. All right, we also have communication and we have grief. Okay, so apparently there's some action that is being taken here, all right? So it could be something that is visible to you. It could be something that you are picking up on. I feel like there's definitely been a shift and I feel like it is actually going to manifest in different ways for um, different groups in the collective. For some of you, it might feel like there has been a shift in the way the masculine communicates, all right, if you are in contact. And for some of you, I feel like it is going to feel more, um, it's going to feel more positive, like there's more communication, the communication is more effective, um, it feels like it's getting somewhere, you know, issues being resolved, talking about things, and then I feel for others of you, it might even come across as the masculine um, being just very, maybe even negative in, in the way that they're communicating. But that, that would still be because of something that is happening, which is causing them grief, all right? This action that they're taking, it's not easy, all right? There's still a lot of grief that they are processing and it could be um, grief relating to the karmic situation, it could be grief relating to the divine feminine situation or even to something else in their lives. But whatever that is, I feel like Whatever is causing that grief also is something that is pushing them. Um, I said in the previous reading, which was last week, that I feel that a lot, for a lot of masculines, things are happening or they're seeing situations either in their lives or from people that they know, which is just really triggering them to think about what their future is going to be like. And that is making them not want to repeat the same patterns over and over and over again. So I feel like this is related to that. And so now they're in that mode of wanting to take action and I feel taking action. So for some of them, the action might just be communicating with you. All right, but I'm getting that there's a lot more actually having that action card two times. All right. So let's see more specifically their energy towards the karmic situation. All right. 
So we have the Two of Swords in reverse, the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Six of Pentacles, which may or may not have been in reverse, and the King of Swords. They realize this is a dead end, all right? There's still, there's still something that they're holding on to, all right, when it comes to the karmic situation. They are in this process of wanting to walk away. I feel like they are emotionally detached. It's just a matter of actually um, completing an action and, uh, and walking away, um, leaving it behind. But it feels like there's something that is holding them there, and this is what is making it difficult. Like the, the actual action is what is hard. I feel like the emotional detachment has already taken place because there's this sense of there is no resolution here. Like we've we've come to terms with that. We've come to terms with the fact that there is no resolution here, there is no so solving this situation, there is no being happy there, right? I mean, all of these cards, for their general energy towards there, there is no, there is no love, there is no passion here. Yeah, it's still, with the Six of Pentacles, they're still giving something, or maybe they're even feeling a responsibility that they need to provide something for this situation. Um, which could be what is holding them there. But look at this, we have this combination finishing off with the King of Swords. There's determination here. There's a lot of determination and there's a lot of logic. And I feel like that logic is also that realization that there is no resolution here. So something has to, something has to give. Let's see what else. They're all in reverse. Two of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and the Two of Wands in reverse. All right, so there's this uh, done waiting with that Two of Wands being in reverse. Um, it, it's still very, very challenging. It's still very challenging, but I feel like what this is saying is that if there was a point in time where the masculine was um, waiting for the karmic partner to come around, to be what they would have wanted it to be, or what they thought it was going to be, or to fulfill some kind of um, expectation, they're done waiting for that because it's, it's just not happening. All right, the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse as well. So what I'm going to do actually is I am... I'm going to take a look at their energy towards their feminine, and then I'll come back and see if there's anything that we want to clarify. So let's see. All right, the Three of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and Judgment. Again, I'm getting the sense of determination. Um, there's this sense of wanting to revive the connection with the feminine, all right, here with judgment. It, this could also be a lot, of, a lot of realizations, just really feeling the truth of the connection. Understanding, it's like a deep understanding of what this connection was, is, or, or could be. And they might have this sense of you not, for some of you, it's like the sense of you possibly not wanting to um, cooperate with them or you know, in the future or of you not being willing anymore to accept them. And then for some of you, it could be that they feel like you're just done trying to help them. Like you've, you've exited. You're just like, I'm not, I'm not going to be a part of this. All right, so it's like they feel that, they feel that from you. Um, and it's almost like that is also pushing them towards wanting to revive this with you, all right? Now, this might not resonate for all of you. So let me get three more. The 
Empress, the King of Pentacles, and the Hierophant in reverse. All right. So they're really wanting this commitment with you. They're wanting the commitment with you, all right, as, as the King of Pentacles, wanting to be that stability for you, all right? You're showing up here as the Empress. But here we have the Hierophant in reverse, suggesting that they can really sense that the disconnect or what is missing. What is it that is missing in order for this to be complete, in order for this to be, um, f for you to be united? Let me clarify. So I want to clarify that Three of Pentacles in reverse. All right, the Ten of Wands and the Hermit. All right, so yeah, so this is what they, how they're viewing you. And I feel like even if you are in contact and even if you fall in the group where you feel like the communication has picked up and things seem to be moving um, more smoothly, all right, because I feel like I'm picking up on at least two different groups here. So if you are in that group, it's like the masculine has understood that you are tired of whatever it was that was going on before. You were tired of that and they felt like, you know, when that, when that was the situation, you know, you, you may have closed yourself off as the hermit. Like you decided, you know what, I'm not going to initiate this time. I'm not going to go after them. I'm not going to try to help them. Um, I'm just going to keep to myself because I'm just tired of this. And that is what has pushed them into this mode of wanting this um, rebirth of the connection between the two of you. And I feel like it does feel different. All right, now if you're in the um, group where this communication might feel um, disconnected, not, it might not be disconnected. For some of you, obviously, you're, not, you're in no contact at all. So uh, just take the messages again as they make sense for you. Um, but if you feel like their energy has been pulled away or if it's just coming through in a different way, maybe you're picking up on a lot of grief. Maybe they are lashing out at you. Maybe they are, um, you know, projecting or just it's it's kind of like yeah like taking their anger with themselves out on you or the difficulty of their situation and what they're going through out on you i feel like there might be some grumpiness involved um poutiness maybe maybe they're even now appearing to be like insecure i'm even getting needy for some of you um, so if you're in that group, again, they're feeling like you have pulled out, that you're just really done waiting, um, or done trying to assist them, and you have pretty much turned, turned inward to yourself. Let me clarify the Hierophant in reverse. All right, the Three of Cups in reverse, the Four of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, it's like, again, there's something missing here. This Three of Cups being in reverse just as the Hierophant is in reverse. This is a lack of a complete celebration. This is a lack of, you know, just everything being resolved and everything being um, fun and light and and completely happy. Like, it's, it's not... It's not there yet. And I feel like what this is saying actually um, is that the feminine is the empress right now, whereas the masculine is showing up as the king of pentacles rather than the emperor. This is still really good. This is still um, a very stable and um, commitment oriented energy, but it's like they're one step behind, right? The feminine is already embodying her empress energy whereas the masculine is still a king which is still um it's still pretty good all right 
it's it's not anything you know to be um, judged or or frowned upon or anything all right this is still actually a very very good step forward for the masculines it's just that that's what is missing here all right it's it's the emperor energy of really handling themselves and being able to complete that action all right so because of that this is this is where the grief comes in or a part of that grief okay it's them being disappointed um, or discontent with themselves and because of that for some of you it might come off as a little bit of either coldness or just um, moody like I just keep getting that moody okay um, and then obviously for others of you it might be slightly different as I said but there's still that sense of a little bit of a disappointment that it's not that it's not complete yet but but they are getting there okay so let's see for their energy towards the karmic partner. Um, I know there was something I wanted to clarify here. Yeah, let's see that two of wands. The ace of swords, which is that action again, and the hierophant this time upright. So there's that contrast. See, here's the thing. Um, it's in reverse for the feminine because they, they know that that's missing. And it's here for the karmic partner because, like I said, they're still holding on. Um, this is what they want to take action on. It's like they're done waiting. They're done waiting for something to change. And because of that, they're in that mode of wanting to take action concerning this commitment and where their commitment um, and their energy belongs. I feel like they're done waiting for something, again, to change here, for action to be taken, either from the part of the karmic or just for there to be some kind of change in that situation, which would make that um, connection feel like, like it's something spiritual, complete, united, because it isn't, all right? They're, they know there's no, there's no um, resolution here. So, before we get into what is coming up, um, let me just take a look, a quick look at what is going on with the feminines. All right, we have strategy. All right, that is interesting. So let's see what else. I feel like this strategy mostly has to do with yourself, although it could be different for each of you. Okay, hold on, that was way too many. We did get solitude. Let me just get a couple more. Solitude, karmic partner, and nostalgia. All right, yeah, so this strategy, for some of you, it could be in relation to your divine masculines. I don't know what that strategy um, could be. Um, and if it involves the karmic partner in any way, um, you would know. Please do follow your, your intuition when it comes to anything um, like that. Because I do feel like for the most part you have stopped trying to assist um, the masculine or just kind of just pulled your energy away. So I do mostly get that for the most of you that strategy has to do with your own self. All right, solitude. Being, it's like you've had this strategy. It's, and when I say strategy, I mean like it was your intention. Like you intended to really be okay on your own and to come to a sense of acceptance as much as you could. And I feel like this is just very similar to what I've been getting, that the feminines are pretty much able to, to hold two contradictory energies together at the same time. Like, yeah, you know, there might be that nostalgia. You might miss 
what this connection used to be or you know how you would want it to be or just whatever all right there is that nostalgia there but at the same time you are willing to accept the fact that if there's a karmic partner you know you are okay on on your own maybe some of you um, were keeping a journal um, writing a diary you know just I feel like you've been doing things to actually help yourself all right it could be meditation it could be anything taking some courses um, for self-awareness whatever and I feel like whatever that was it has it has helped you so let me just get a few tarot cards and then we'll see what is coming up in the near future judgment and I love how it's right next to the judgment card from the masculine's energy towards the feminine judgment the two of cups and the knight of wands yeah so you you're definitely having your own revelations here as well um, and it could be that for some of you yeah you're feeling I, I feel like you you feel different you feel like you've been reborn and again even if you still feel that connection and of course you would if this is a divine soulmate connection all right you might go through phases where you know you might um have a self-defense mechanism of pushing it away of holding resentment and that's okay and it's okay to go back and forth between um feeling different energies as well but what i'm getting here is that yeah you you there's a shift there's a shift that has already happened and i feel like it has happened for both you as well as the masculine and it's just that for you i feel like it manifested a little bit quicker like you were able to notice the effects on yourself and now you are noticing this difference in the masculine but again you know be careful because it can play out in different ways don't think that just because the masculine might be acting strange or in a more negative way that that's necessarily um, them being stuck or taking a step back. It's not. It's just their way of dealing with the shift, okay, which is ultimately pushing them towards action. All right, there's a huge, huge shift that has taken place here. And you're moving forward with that Knight of Wands. You're moving forward. Let's just see if there's any, anything else for the feminines. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse, the Devil in reverse, and the Ten of Cups. So here's the thing. It feels like, you know, what you're moving forward, but that moving forward, what that entails is that you are not moving towards um, the masculine. You're not going back to toxicity, all right? That's why these are both in reverse. You're like, no, I'm done with that with that toxic type of a connection or that toxic way of being, living in um, anxiety or having fears or being attached um, to the point where, you know, it was messing with your head. You're, you're moving away from that. You're not going back to that right now. You're moving forward, as I said, and that is leading you to this 10 of cups, all right, which is ultimate fulfillment and happiness. And you know what? That the whole thing is that it doesn't matter if it's with your masculine or not. Yeah, you might still feel that, all right? You have the nostalgia, that we have the two of cups here. You feel the bond, you feel the connection. You feel the love. But this 10 of cups is more important because if holding on to a situation where there's still a karmic partner or a karmic situation involved, right? Then that would be like moving towards that devil, going back to that attachment going back to being trapped. And it's like, no, I feel like the feminine has set his or herself free. And if you don't feel like you're in this energy, you know, don't, don't worry. This is the energy that is surrounding you and this is what you are moving towards. All right, but it also does depend on you, okay? The more you 
um, you know, have that strategy. Have that strategy for your own self, you know, to be okay in solitude. All right. So let's see what is coming up in the next couple of weeks or so. Just had the Five of Pentacles in reverse flip over. Um, so I do see that as trying to come out of the victim type of a mentality. So let's see, for the masculine supports the karmic situation. All right, we have the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Six of Wands in reverse, and the Ten of Wands. All right. Yeah, this is, um, this is like, that battle is lost. The battle of trying to find happiness in the karmic situation. That's done, all right? Um, I do, I still get, like I said in the very beginning, there is a sense of responsibility there, but, but that trying to find happiness and being fulfilled, that part is done. And I do feel like, like I had said in the previous reading, that's not going to cut it. I, I don't think they can, they can settle in that because the masculine at the moment wants to find that happiness. They ha they're having that determination. There has been a shift. They realize that they don't have the full, complete, committed bond with their divine feminines. So the fact that they cannot find that in the situation that they're in that is helping them to move forward, to take that action. Like, this is just, they realize this is just done. Okay, like, they've lost that battle. They've, I do feel like there was a sense of, um, of trying. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups, which is what I'm saying, that that's what they want, and they cannot find it here. So let me see if there's anything more specific here coming up. The Six of Cups in reverse, the Eight of Swords in reverse, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. Okay, so a lot of reversals, actually. So it's interesting that I also saw the Five of Pentacles in reverse, which to me came across as exiting victim mode. And with that Eight of Swords in reverse, yeah, that's exactly it. You know, there it's the sense of I'm not trapped here. I don't want to be trapped here. I don't want to be in this situation where I feel like I'm tied up. And so that's why I want to take action. All right, there's nothing here. This is, to me, this is also like releasing the past, but for some of them, for some of them, it might be that they're holding on, maybe if there are children, all right? So there's still a little bit of holding on here. So the Ace of Swords is in reverse, why? Because this is still a process, all right? Um, we did have it before, upright here, but, but here it's in reverse because there is something that is still, um, still in the process of happening, okay? Definitely full on action mode, that's for sure. But I feel like the first step of that is setting themselves free, feeling free, feeling like I can take action. That is something that is definitely possible. Whereas before it was like, I'm a victim, I, I just can't, I'm stuck, it was like that. All right, not anymore. So let's see their energy coming up for the Divine Feminine. Five of Cups, the Moon in Reverse, and the Five of Swords in Reverse. All right, so there might be some guilt, again, and again, some grief. So I do feel like a lot of this um, grief, actually, for, for a lot of them, part of that grief is towards their Divine Feminine, as I said before. I think this is the second time I'm getting, I'm picking up on something like that. Um, 
yeah, they're going to be feeling a lot of guilt and I feel just a lot of grief for the way things have played out and more specifically for the fact that they're not in this Hierophant um, energy with with their feminine and that, that Hierophant energy, right, which is the union, the, um, the strong connection, and when I say strong, I mean like, you know, marriage or commitment, is with the karmic partner. A lot of these emotions that have been re repressed are coming up to the surface. More so than before. So I and and especially with the five of swords, like this is what whatever it is that has happened in the past, whatever it is that they have done that has been either deceitful or um, you know came with a sense of betrayal or just not living in truth or just you know not treating their divine feminine in the way that he or she deserved. All of that is coming up to the surface here. It's like being revealed to them in different ways. I Again, I feel like for a lot of them, there are going to be more triggers coming up from their external environment that is just going to really point this out to them. And because of that, they're going to feel a lot of grief. So I feel like that grief that we have here in the, um, in the beginning, I, I feel like that's actually going to get more intense um, coming up, but it, that needs to happen. That needs to happen. They, they're just going to keep getting triggered um, because right now it's <laughs> new moon in Aries. Action, action, action. The universe is pushing for that action big time. I feel like it's like the universe showing no mercy um, for those who need that. All right. Like I said, there are others where this might feel like it's smooth, smooth sailing. All right. Let's see if there's anything else. the Six of Swords. Six of Swords, the Four of Cups in Reverse, and the Nine of Cups in Reverse. Okay, so there, so if you're, if you're in contact, all right, um, you might feel like they're trying to get away from that grief. And I don't necessarily see it as denial. I don't see it as that or escapism. I see it as just them trying to find a smoother path towards you. Um, and possibly coming forward in a, in a smoother way, trying to either leave some conflict behind, maybe resolve something that was not resolved um, in the past between the two of you, because they, and I'm pretty sure we saw that Four of Cups, yeah, it was here. Um, because, again, it's like they're, I'm still picking this up as, as that guilt. That guilt which is making them feel disappointed in themselves. It's kind of like they want to resolve that. They want to resolve that um, for their own self here. And it's almost as if they're doing this just for the sake of... For the sake of what is right and not necessarily for, for their own um, pleasure. That's how this is coming through. It's very interesting, actually. Like, they just feel that obligation to you. It's, it's like they're not doing it as a means to an end, not even doing it in, in um, an attempt to get you back or to get you to open up if you have pulled away or anything like that. Wow, pretty interesting. All right, so, yeah, I feel like that, that's pretty much it. Let me just get one or two oracle cards to close out the reading if this resonated with you. Please do give me a thumbs up if it did. And <clears throat> yeah, let me know in the comments. All right, so let's see. All right, we have blessed. And truth be told. Yeah, and I do feel like this truth be told it does definitely apply to the both of you. It does remind me of judgment, all right, which was in both of your energies here towards each other. Um, and also towards your own selves. All right, a lot of truth are, truths are coming up, just like I said, even for the masculines, these 
repressed emotions, just things that they were not able to see before, like all of a sudden their eyes are opening up and they can just see things in a different way than what they were seeing before. All right, and I feel like there's a lot of divine guidance here for both you as well as the masculine, okay, with this blessed card. And you you are blessed right now. Like and if you if you feel like you're in in a dark kind of a space, which I don't get for most of you, but if you feel that way, take a look around and see why you are blessed. Try to find those reasons because they're definitely there. All right? And truth be told, the truth is coming to the surface. So, those were the messages for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Much love.